Good morning. I'm super excited to do this. This is my second year uh, doing the Gravenhurst Tribe. But what I'm most excited about is this year we have uh, eight athletes from our gym doing it. And they're going to be jumping off the second boat. Karen and I had the the good luck of being on this on the first boat that jumps but uh, I'm just so excited to be able to get to do this we also earlier in this week didn't know if we were going to be able to uh, come because of the air quality so the fact that we're able to do this is super um, we're very fortunate to be able to come and do this and it's also beautiful weather hi my name is uh, Daniel Hezer um, I am this is Friday June 9th one day away from jumping into the water for the third time in Gravenhurst. Um, I don't know really what to say, but the reason why I originally did this was because they did the triathlon right in front of our uh, cottage. So every year I would watch people jump in off the boat and they and I would get in on my kayak and I would follow the swim. And then some years I'd be on the bike and I'd end up in the race and people would be cheering for me, even though I wasn't really in the race. So I always said one year I would do it and then in 2019 I did my first one um, and I'm not really much of a long distance person but I think it's a good challenge for me and with 24 hours to go I am nervous right now I'm not really looking forward to it to be honest with you but looking forward to being done and having that feeling so it's the morning of the race and uh I'm excited and very nervous. Um, if you can tell by how hard I'm breathing, it's freaking six in the morning. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Um, regardless of what happens, I think I'm proud of myself for doing it. Um, I'm proud of everyone I'm doing it with. <sighs> yeah, it's just amazing. It's amazing to see everybody kind of come together and do this thing together and support each other and it doesn't matter what happens we all just we decided we're going to do this we're going to train for it um and i'm proud of everyone for having just for having the courage to try so good luck everyone have a blast um i can't wait to do this with you see ya hi my name is kim foley and i am about to do the triathlon i'm really excited i'm really really excited um, I have been with Redleaf since its inception. I've been with Michelle and Sean even longer and they have been, I wouldn't be here without their encouragement and support and knowledge. So I'm grateful for that. Um, I am all set up for my, we've got our bike there. So I've got the bike and oh, and I've got the, uh, what did you call yourself, Ed? Yes, it's Ed. The only thing I'm running is the spousal support program. <laughs> Uh, my name is Alba and uh, I signed up for the try a little bit blindly not really knowing what I was signing up for. Uh, Sean and Michelle said I should do a try, a, an Olympic triathlon and I went up and I signed up and then I went and googled what is an Olympic triathlon and here we are today uh, ready to do it. So what you notice is that there's and more everyday people, there's more like moms, dads, brothers, you know, those kinds of just everyday folks. You, When I first did this on my first time, I thought it was going to be really intimidating athletes, iron men, just like, you know, everybody's way fitter than I am. But what you find out is it's just like people just trying to get out there and have some fun and push themselves. So when I... So we are going to do an orderly load. So yellow caps. If you guys I think I'm going now. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Good. Feeling good. <laughs> How do you feel about getting in the water? Um, yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling a little uh, nervous today. A little bit rusty. It's been a few years since I've uh, done one of these, but yeah, I'm excited to go. The best advice that I would give for someone who's thinking about doing a, a triathlon but they're feeling hesitant is go all in. And what that means is you should have no expectation on, on yourself other than showing up and just finishing it. That in itself is the win.
And the most important thing is not what happens on race day. It's the process of you going through your training and who you become during that phase. And it's a really, really good example of falling in love with the process and not so much the outcome. And for that reason, I mean, anybody who's thinking about it, triathlon is, is for everybody. And it's just incredibly healing and I love this sport. I did it together last year with a small group, and it changed my life. I like to say that last year I jumped off that boat as one version of myself, and I climbed up onto that dock as a whole other version. And so for me, this year was just full circle. fun day. Um, I love being out there and uh, the best part for me was seeing all of our athletes out there and um, watching them do things that they didn't think they could do and overcoming um, the challenges of the race. I think that's really cool. Um, the toughest part was like just waiting for it to start. Um, you know the nerves they kind of go crazy your tummy turns a bit but uh, once you jump on fat boat then it's you know it's game face and uh, it was a good day. What's happening next for you? Uh, 40k bike. So, see you later. It was a really good race. It was fun to see a few of the leaps out on the course. And uh, yeah, I was just so proud of them when I saw them and thinking about them as as we go and just know what they're going through. And this is so proud. It's such a cool thing to do together. I never ever thought I would do a triathlon, but with the encouragement of Sean and Michelle, they're just so positive and they get you there, but they do it in really baby steps. Like just move the dry a little bit. You don't have to bite it all off at once. And so much of that is the strength training and the endurance that they, that they have at Redleaf. I'm super proud of myself. I've had to look at, you know, doing this triathlon and having this as a goal has informed so many other choices that I've been making in my life. So that feels really, really good to have that consistency and maybe a little bit of more control over the choices that I make. I think it's always hard uh, when you kind of fall behind or you have something happen that you know, prevents you from performing the way that you um, expected. So for me, that was the swim. Um, so a lot of the bike and the run for me was just like on my own, but I found ways to entertain myself and I sang and cheered others on and I made it to the finish line. Yeah, it was great. The swim was probably my favorite part. Uh, the bike was the hardest and 
the run was just, it felt good. Yeah, but the swim was my favorite. So for me, the swim felt like death. <laughs> just you just want to get out. The bike was chill. And the run was just get through it. This one was death. <laughs> um, it looks really scary, but I promise it's really fun pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, um, getting the preparation, and it's always best when you do it with other people. So I have to thank everyone here for doing this with me and inspire me to go on. Hundred percent, do it. I would say just jump 100%. in. Hundred percent, do it. Just jump in and have fun. My race today was everything. Uh, it started with incredible problems that uh, I had to battle through straight from the swim. When I jumped off the boat, my I lost my goggles, and I had to swim fifteen hundred, almost fifteen hundred meters without my goggles, basically. Uh, but that was helpful because what it allowed me to do was to sort of look that that frustration and that panic almost in the eye and have to uh, come to terms with it and and just get over it all while in the water <laughs> And that's the way triathlon is. It's a test of character and it forges character. And it, 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 it's a test that sees, that pulls out who you are and your hardest moments. And it makes you, it forges you for those hard moments. So the race was everything, everything I wanted it to be. And I had a blast. Everybody celebrates everybody. It doesn't matter what your time is before you show up on race day. Everybody thinks it's just as cool when you cross that finish line. 